Alongside women's soccer head coach Denise Schilte Brown, Mike Lefko with you to talk about uh, an impressive signing class for the women's soccer team and a preview a little bit about next season. So, coach, let's talk about the haul you brought in. Really, from all over the country, a lot from Florida, a couple from Texas and Virginia, yeah. and then one from your stronghold in Canada. What does that kind of represent that you were able to grab players from all over the country? You know, I think that we've just done our work. We've done our homework. We've worked really hard. This is an extremely exciting class. Um, you know, obviously Chris and Jason have gone all over the globe to look for what's best and it just happens that a lot of the best players are right here in our backyard, so that's exciting. Always have to throw in a Canadian, that's important. Um, you know, Texas, that's new for us. We're exciting for the ground that we're, uh, you know, getting into over there and um, basically this is going to be one of our best recruiting classes ever. Do you think it's helped what this program has done over the past couple of years that you can go into households now, like you said, all over the country and say, look at what we've done. We've been ranked the past three years. We've made two NCAA tournaments the past couple of years. Does that help now when you go into these households? Oh, 100% makes all the difference in the world, you know. You're talking about a top 25 program consistently. Um, that means the better competition. That means you can dream to play professionally because day in and day out you're competing against players of that caliber, you know, on other teams and your own team. Um, for me, this is, you know, this, this climb in, in the progression of our program has really put a stamp on whether the kids want to come here or not. And obviously, as a coach, you have to show progression. You want girls to commit to your program. You want recruits to believe in you. You have to show an incline of your ability to bring a program and, and lift it up. And I think uh, as a staff, we've done that. And, and so this, you know, this class reflects that. We don't have to individually talk about every player, but if you want to just kind of sum up the strengths of this class that's coming in this next year. Big, strong, fast, technical, so diverse. I think it's one of our most diverse classes. You know, we're excited because we have this young talent coming back, and a lot of them have become very specialized in their position, and we think that they're close to kind of securing, you know, the, the layout of what we have returning. But these players coming in, they can play anywhere, and that's really exciting for us. So now, yeah, when you go out recruiting, when your staff goes out recruiting, are you looking for an immediate need, or can you go and find a really good player and say, we want the best player who fits this program? I mean, I think you need to be intelligent about how you get out there and look. I mean, initially, when you're recruiting young and early, you just get the very best you can. So a lot of the early signees are just the top in their class. And then as you progress closer and you finish a fall season and things settle down and you start to really look at maybe a niche on the field that you're looking for a specific type of player. So you, maybe your last couple of signees are specific to position or the type of player that you would like in those roles. That's important too and, and you have to be strategic about that. Well, let's talk about now how this will all mesh together because you guys have the benefit of returning essentially your top three point scorers, three of your yes. top four, were all freshmen last year. Yeah. Is that exciting when you look about a big freshman class becoming sophomores and now another crop coming in right behind them? Absolutely. You know, you can't take a deep breath and slow down. I mean, you got to pursue the next, you know, the next level of, of excellence and you're being pursued. I mean, there's teams behind us that are trying to catch us. So we got to keep moving forward. But I think, you know, how can you not be excited about the, the brightness of this future? We have you know, incredible goal scorers on this team. And then we are adding some players that are, are literally unstoppable athletically, technically. Um, you know, a lot of them have to adjust, of course, to the college environment and to the tactics that we're asking them here. But they have great role models in the program to do that. So, yeah, it's going to be good. The past few years, your teams have kind of been defined. You've had really good, strong senior leadership. Now for you as a coaching staff, do you have to tell some of these sophomores it's up to you. You're a big sophomore class. You kind of have to be the leaders now. Yeah, absolutely. I think, and a lot of them are. Um, a lot of them are on their national teams and they're, you know, fighting to stay at that level. And some of them are, have their sights on being in the national team. So I think they're leading a lot by example, their competitiveness on the field. You know, our fifth year senior, um, Brittany Raymond, she knows us well. She can be an extension of us on the field. Um, there's a lot of, of really good seniors as well. Ocean and Hammer will be out there. They know us well. So there's a lot of players out there that know us well. There's something nice about an uncomfortable group. This group can't be too comfortable with their coaching staff. They haven't been with us that long. Um, the demand is still there. So, you know, you have all these incoming players that you can really get on and, and, and fight to keep the level up. And then you can keep this group on their toes as well. Should be an exciting time. Thanks for watching here on Bulls Vision.